In this video, I'll be talking about VM Maestro, the user interface for Viral, Cisco's virtual internet routing lab. Today, I'd like to share some tips for working with VM Maestro's views and perspectives. The views are the panels you see here arranged around the main editor area. You may have noticed that the palette view says a palette is not available. That's because like many of the views in VM Maestro, the palette view is context sensitive. When you open a topology editor, the palette view will be populated. When you first open VM Maestro, even if you have a topology editor open, you may find that the palette view is not populated until you click on the topology editor itself or on its title bar. Other context sensitive views in VM Maestro include the node editor, the graph overview, and the properties view. When I say that a view is context sensitive, I mean that the information displayed in that view depends on what's currently selected. For example, if we select a file in the projects view, the properties view shows the properties for that file. If we then select a different file in the projects view, the properties view is updated to show the information about the newly selected file. Of course, with VM Maestro, you'll normally be using the properties view to set the properties of the topology elements themselves. For example, if we select a node in the topology editor, the properties view will be updated to show the node properties. You'll see the properties view has a node tab that shows the information about the node itself. If you're using Auto Netkit, there's also an Auto Netkit tab for setting properties related to the node for Auto Netkit's configuration generation. After I generate configurations, I can see the configuration that Auto Netkit generated for this node by selecting the node's properties configuration tab. If you're not using Auto Netkit, you can also use this tab to manually enter a bootstrap configuration for your router. Now, as I said, the properties view is context sensitive. That means that I, se I select different nodes, such as iOS v3 in the topology editor. The properties view is updated to show the properties for that node. Another context sensitive view is the node editor. We can use the node editor to show the details of connectivity between nodes in the main topology editor. Of course, if you select a node in the node editor, the properties view will be updated to show the properties for that node. The node editor also shows the interfaces underneath the node. So if I select an interface in the node editor, the properties view is updated to show the interface level properties. The interface tab of the properties view lets you see or change the interface name associated with the selected interface. Since I used Auto Netkit to generate the configurations for my topology, we can also see the IP address and net mask that Auto Netkit assigned to this interface. In addition to the interface and node level properties, there are also topology level properties. Click on the background of the topology editor canvas away from any node, and the properties view will be updated to show the topology level properties. In addition to the topology tab of the properties interface, there's a topology level Auto Netkit tab to permit you to set properties that apply to the entire topology, such as the IP address family and the routing protocols. As you can see, the properties view is essential for configuring your topology, especially if you're using Auto Netkit. But VM Maestro lets you rearrange or close views in your user interface. So what happens if you accidentally close the properties view? You can always get a view back by going to Window, Show View, and picking the view from the menu. Once the properties view is open, we can select nodes and see them in the properties view as usual. Not all views are shown in the quick menu on the Show View menu. So if you go to Window, Show View, and don't find your view, you can always click Other to open the Show View dialog. You can filter for the dialog for the view that you want, or you can browse through all available views. The Properties view is listed under the General Views here. Another tip for working with views, especially views that have a lot of content like the Auto Netkit or Configuration tabs on the Properties view for a node, is to use the Maximize button. This gives you more room to work, and then you can always click the Restore button to restore the view to its normal size. You can also double click the view's title bar to maximize and restore. In the last part of this video, I'd like to speak briefly about perspectives in VM Maestro. A perspective is just a named arrangement of the editor area and the views. In the top right of the user interface, you can see that we're currently in the design perspective. If I click on Simulation, VM Maestro switches to the simulation perspective. This perspective is set up for working with running simulations. The simulations view is in the top right, showing running simulations, and by default the console view is in the bottom right, showing messages from the viral backend. You'll notice that we do not show the properties view or the problems view in this perspective by default, since those are primarily used when working with when designing topologies.
Perspectives in VM Maestro are user customizable. You can close views, open new views, or rearrange views by dragging and dropping them in the user interface. You can stack views by dragging and dropping a view on top of an existing view. Remember that changes in one perspective have no impact on the other perspectives, so the simulation perspective remains the same even though we've changed the layout in the other perspective. If you come up with a layout that you like, you can save it for later. Go to the perspective bar, right click on the current perspective, and click Save As. I'm going to name this layout Demo. You can close a perspective by right clicking on it in the perspective bar and clicking Close. You can open a perspective by clicking the Open Perspective button and selecting the name of the perspective. Here we have the default design perspective. If we open the demo perspective, this is the layout that I just saved. Now each perspective remembers its last save state. That means that it's safe to modify a perspective while you're working with it. You can close views or drag them or rearrange them. If you ever end up with a layout that you don't like, you can reset the perspective back to its last save state. Go to the perspective bar, right click on the perspective and click reset. Then confirm that you'd like to reset it back to its default and the layout will be restored. If you accidentally close a view like the properties view that's part of the default perspective, you can restore the view by resetting the perspective. Note that while the perspective includes the layout and size of the views and the editor area, it does not include which editors are currently open. We hope that the tips and explanations provided in this video help save you time when working with views and perspectives in VM Maestro.